So parking can come at a premium at Barton Springs Pool, and what some people thought was helping got them a ticket instead. Yeah, KV's Jenny Lee shows us what happened and how the city is working to address the issue. When Brandon Vesmar rides his moped to Barton Springs Pool, he parks in a grassy area along the edges of the parking lot. He's not the only one. Every single day, there's dozens of scooters parked around here, and nobody knew that they were doing anything wrong. But last Sunday, that practice got Vesmar and a few others noticed. He shared pictures he took. It's nothing unusual, except for the fact that this time I got a ticket. And he's not happy about it. There are several no parking signs in the parking lot, but there aren't any that specifically addresses the grassy area. And that is Vesmar's point. Nobody knows that you can't park your scooters on the borders of the parking lots in these park areas. We're all just trying to keep the parking lot free so cars can park there. Vesmar took his $30 ticket to court and got it dismissed. Now he wants to help others. Because it sucks to come out of somewhere and get a ticket. All right, and it's going to be happening to everybody all day, every day. And asking the Parks and Recreation Department to put up signs so others can avoid getting a ticket. It's not rocket science. Just place one uh, sign at the entrance of the parking lot and call it a day. Jenny Lee, KVU News. Okay, so Jenny tells us there is designated parking for scooters and motorcycles in front of Barton Springs Pool, but it amounts to two car spaces. The Parks and Rec Department tells us it is reviewing its signage policy to determine where and what signage needs to be on the Parkland Trail. So we'll keep you updated.